Happy Sunday, friends. Today I've got a review of a classic spy thriller for you. It is The Riddle of the Sands by Erskine Childers. Okay, before I start talking about this book, um, I want to talk about the edition. This is The Riddle of the Sands by Erskine Childers, published in 1903 originally, and this edition is by Penguin Classics, and it's subcategorized as a Penguin Red Classic, R-E-D. Uh, it clearly has a yellow cover, so I'm not quite sure what the name is. It's in, uh, I bought this uh, in a Barnes & Noble in Union Square in New York City many years ago, and they had a, a sale on these uh, style of books, the series, the Penguin Red Classic series. And I bought also uh, The Man Who Was Thursday by G.K. Chesterton. And I remember seeing lots of them on this, this one shelf. And they all had this beautiful, really cool cover art. This nice line art with simple, um, very limited color palette. I liked them a lot. And I remember seeing a handsome edition of H. Ryder Haggard, She, which I've reviewed on this channel before. Uh, but I can't find any information out about this series, why they're called Red Classics, which books are in the series. The information that exists online is either wrong or, or incomplete because it doesn't include this book or the G.K. Chesterton book that I have in my collection. So I'd be interested to know more about that series because I really like the art on them and they're just handy little paperbacks that are fun to carry around with you. And I like the, the way they feel in your hand a lot. Moving along... Uh, this is a uh, spy thriller, as I said, from 1903 by Erskine Childers, who served in the British military and knew what he was talking about. It was listed on Boats.com as one of the best sailing books uh, dealing with pre-war sailing. The premise is simple. It's basically this man, Carruthers, is given a letter by his friend, uh, invited to go on a duck hunting yachting holiday in the Baltic Sea, and he kindly agrees to go. But, of course, things are not as simple as they appear, and he's soon involved in a deep web of espionage and secret service. It says the subtitle is A Novel of the Secret Service. Um, it's really good. It's very uh, thrilling. It's, it says on the back here that the Times called it the first modern thriller. So that's something. Uh, but it's it really reminds me of like a James Bond book. It's in that style. It's like these early, very exciting, uh, optimistic British war stories, you know, back when the British Empire, before they had been crushed by World War II and beaten down to their current sorry position in the world. Sorry, Brits, I love you, but you know, you know how it is. Um, there was this great optimism about the British military. The sun never set on the British Empire. They could do anything. And there was this sort of um, kind of lads fun about the war. You know, we're going to go out and we're going to have an adventure. We're going to beat the Germans or whoever they were fighting. And uh, I think that really comes through in this book and the early James Bond novels where you have that sort of it's a it's a thriller and it's scary and the stakes are high but it's all it's all done with a sense of fun and it's all done with a sense of adventure. Uh, I think that's very characteristic of this period of writing in England and this book really does a good job of showing that through. So I won't go too much more into the plot because I don't want to do any spoilers, but if you like uh, naval adventures, if you like spy adventures, this is really uh, a touchstone for both of those genres. It really sets the pace for what would come in future years. I think all modern thriller writers like, you know, John Grisham and people like that have a lot of uh, debt to owe to The Riddle of the Sands. And if you're interested in the early development of the genre, this would be a great place to start. And if you know anything more about the Penguin Red editions, I'd like to get some more books in the series, but they are hard to find and I can't find a complete list of titles anywhere. So thanks for watching. I've been Logan Albright. I'm going to go see a movie now. But I hope that you have had a wonderful weekend, and I'll catch you next week.